When we think of the future, we think in terms of what has been and what is to come. We prepare for tomorrow, today. When our hospital opened its doors more than a century ago, we had the same mission as we have today, caring for the people of Central Connecticut. As time progressed, so did our methods of care. Flash forward to today. We've become one of the largest hospitals in the state, growing each year in terms of size and scope to better serve our patients and communities. Yet our eyes remain focused on the future. I'm looking forward to advances in my field. I'm looking forward to advances in my career. I'm looking forward to happy, healthy babies. I'm looking forward to putting this guy to good use. As we move into a new year, we take a moment to look back on this year's highlights. One of the most important developments was the appointment of Clarence J. Sylvia as president and CEO of the Hospital of Central Connecticut and our parent company, the Central Connecticut Health Alliance. Mr. Sylvia has been part of our hospital family for many years. Most recently, he was the hospital's vice president of operations and previously was president of Bradley Memorial Hospital before it merged with New Britain General to form the Hospital of Central Connecticut. I'm proud to be leading this incredible organization which has provided outstanding health care to our community for more than a century. Another appointment of note was that of Dr. Stephen Hanks to the position of Executive Vice President and Chief Medical Officer. Together, we're positioning the hospital to meet the challenges of the future. Positioning the hospital to move forward also involves the creation of some strategic partnerships. The hospital recently announced plans to affiliate with Hartford HealthCare, parent company of Hartford Hospital. By strengthening the long-standing relationship between our hospitals and healthcare systems, we strengthen our ability to provide the people of our state with the highest quality health care close to home, far into the future. Taking care of our patients is our most important mission. We are eagerly awaiting the affiliation between the Hospital of Central Connecticut and Hartford HealthCare. Every day, people come to our hospitals and entrust themselves to our care at their most vulnerable moments. This new relationship will ensure our long-term sustainability to be there for those we serve. This new partnership will significantly strengthen the exceptional programs already offered at both hospitals. Each year, we look forward to the achievements that will carry us into the future. I'm looking forward to providing patients with the most advanced surgical procedures. In October, a New Britain man was the first patient at the hospital to undergo robotic surgery using the Da Vinci robot system, kicking off a highly anticipated and sophisticated robotic surgery program. Though the robotic surgery program is new to our hospital, the doctors who perform the first two procedures here, Dr. Joshua Stein and Dr. Claire Joe, are both highly experienced in robotic techniques. Guests at this year's Chrysanthemum Ball had an opportunity to experience firsthand how this incredible system works. The robotic system uses tiny incisions and tools that allow the surgeon to access areas difficult to reach with open or laparoscopic procedures. Patients may experience less pain, less blood loss, fewer complications, less scarring, and quicker recoveries. The hospital this year was first in the area to introduce a new technology that can make spine surgery safer, an interoperative C-arm. The device creates precise three-dimensional x-rays during spinal fusion surgery. This gives the surgeon better access to the surgical site without having to reposition the patient. And speaking of technology, the hospital now has an in-house information technology department to oversee all of our computer systems hospital-wide. Bringing this vital function in-house is not only cost-effective, it better positions us to meet future IT needs. Every technological advance we support and implement is dedicated to one thing, improving patient care and support of that care as we move forward. I'm looking forward to working more closely with the patient families. Since parents know their children best, Staff on our pediatric unit found forward-thinking ways to increase their involvement. Now, parents and guardians join physicians, nurses, and other team members in medical rounds discussions and decisions about their child's treatment. I love being involved in my child's care. 
The hospital is also moving forward with state-of-the-art care for people experiencing life-threatening heart attacks. This past year, the hospital performed in the top 10% of hospitals in the country in quickly performing emergency angioplasty to open the clogged artery causing the heart attack. This involves inflating a small balloon within the artery to open it up and restore blood flow. The Catherine Ann King Rudolph Hereditary Cancer Genetics Program was created to identify adult patients at increased risk for cancer due to their genetic makeup, provide comprehensive cancer genetic risk assessment and support, and to empower them through counseling and patient education to make decisions regarding possible treatment. Made possible by a lead gift from Bruce Rudolph in memory of his wife, Catherine, the program is part of a regional genetic counseling initiative led by the Hospital of Central Connecticut that also includes Hartford Hospital and St. Francis Hospital and Medical Center. I'm looking forward to helping out. Our hospital could not do what it does without the selfless dedication of our volunteers. Joan Kelly Coyle of New Britain was recognized with the Volunteer of the Year Award. Joan has been volunteering for over 20 years mostly with the Auxiliary's Wishing Well gift shop. She can be found in the gift shop nearly every morning, selecting, unpacking, and pricing items to be sold. In 2009, 328 New Britain General Campus volunteers dedicated 45,696 hours to the hospital, while the Bradley Memorial Campus's 132 volunteers donated 18,782 hours. The financial value of their service over a million dollars. The value to the staff and patients they help? Priceless. Another generous donation from Sylvia Wilson Lucas is making life easier for the families of patients undergoing treatment here for cancer and other serious illnesses. Named after the late physician, the James Miller Wilson Patient and Family Respite Room provides a home-like space of peace, comfort, and relaxation. And this year's annual Chrysanthemum Ball was, as always, an amazingly fun time. Held November 6 at the Aqua Turf Club, this signature event raised monies to benefit the hospital's comprehensive breast center. We look forward to being recognized for our good work. This past year, in recognition of the hospital's high quality stroke care, we received the Silver Plus Performance Achievement Award through our participation in Get With The Guidelines, an American Heart Association, American Stroke Association quality improvement program. And we were awarded the Green Circle Award from the State Department of Environmental Protection for, among other achievements, using hydrogen peroxide instead of ethylene to sterilize surgical tools, a pollution prevention program that encourages recycling of all electronics, batteries, and fluorescent lamps, and for our recycling efforts with xylene, a chemical used in our labs. Our breast program has also been recognized and was just accredited by the National Accreditation Program for Breast Centers. Accreditation means the hospital offers high quality, comprehensive care and meets standards for leadership, clinical management, research, professional education, and quality improvement. Our emergency rooms at both campuses continue to break records with attendance as more people rely on our hospital for care. To make it easier to access that care quickly, we are now posting ER wait times on our website and have also created a similar iPhone app. No organization can become exceptional without exceptional employees, and the Hospital of Central Connecticut is no exception. In May, the hospital presented its highest employee honor, the President's Award for Excellence in Customer Service, to Mark Spellacy, supervisor of the hospital's patient transport department. Spellacy was recognized for providing our patients with safe, compassionate, and prompt service, while providing our caregivers with the timely and efficient support they desire. We look forward to working with patients every day the hospital's highest nursing honor, the Viola Larson Memorial Award, was presented to Linda Cerulic, a nurse in New Britain's Stroke Medical Unit. She was lauded for her clinical expertise, leadership, professional development, and compassion and respect for patients and coworkers. Jean Warren, an RN from Bradley Memorial Surgical Unit, and Renee Walensiak, 
and RN from New Britain's Psychiatric Unit, were each awarded the Outstanding Nurse Preceptor Award. The award is given for demonstrating clinical expertise and serving as role models, team players, unit leaders, and teachers. We're looking forward to reaching more patients with our new programs and services. As we position to meet the healthcare needs of our community far into the future, we welcome new people who are filling vital roles within our organization. We were happy to announce the arrival of Maureen Fitzsimmons to the position of Vice President of Patient Care Services and Chief Nursing Executive. A great hospital also relies on great nurses, so recruitment was a priority, especially for our float pool and critical care unit. We also welcomed a variety of new physicians, including some critically needed specialists, to our hospital and community. Promotion of our physicians' expertise to our community was also a priority, and we did so through newspaper columns, web columns and chats, and broadcast media appearances. We're also expanding programs and services. In May, our Joslin Diabetes Center affiliate, long a mainstay on our New Britain campus, brought its services to our Bradley Memorial Campus as well. We further expanded our Joslin services when we opened another satellite office in Farmington. Joslin shares the Farmington office with our Center for Bariatric Surgery and Weigh Your Options Clinical Weight Loss Center. Consolidating all of these services under one roof gives patients access to a complete line of metabolic services and expands the hospital's presence in Farmington. Letting the community know what we offer and helping them learn about healthy living is an important goal. In March, the hospital partnered with the Southington Y and our own Central Connecticut Senior Health Services to present the first Healthy Family Fun Fest, a fun-filled interactive day offering health-related information, screenings and activities for young children, vibrant seniors, and everybody in between. Held at the AquaTurf in Southington, more than 2,000 people took advantage of a day chock full of healthy cooking demonstrations health screenings and activities, including a kid's area with an obstacle course, a virtual gym, and so much more. In June, our Bradley Memorial and New Britain General Auxiliary combined efforts to celebrate the 20th annual golf tournament and raised $92,000 for the hospital's comprehensive breast center. It was one of their most successful tournaments, with nearly 200 golfers teeing it up for a good cause and high fashion hit a high note at the Couture Cabaret, the Bradley Auxiliary Annual Fashion Show, which raised over $15,000 to support medical equipment at the Bradley campus. Nearly 400 guests attended to cheer on the Southington residents, community leaders, and hospital staff who modeled. We're proud that our hospital was the first in New England to join Just Walk, a walk with a doc program that hosts free doctor-led community walks in the park. Looking back, it's easy to remember the accomplishments, but we must always remember to look forward to exciting new partnerships, advanced technologies, and the staff and facilities to better care for our patients and communities. Better care for our patients today and tomorrow is at the heart of everything we do. This vision is a guiding force for the Hospital of Central Connecticut. It drives us to progress, to innovate, to pioneer, to flash forward. <laughs>